Wonder Woman 1984 hit the box office in December and it broke a pandemic record, grossing $16.7 million domestically. But if you weren't ready to head to the theater to see the film, not to worry. The Blu-ray is officially out today. And to learn more about the movie that was set here in D.C., I spoke with the director of photography, Matthew Jensen, who also calls this area home. Matt, thank you for joining us today. I feel like you're coming back home virtually in some sorts after growing up in Northern Virginia. What was that road like that took you out to LA where you are today working on these huge Hollywood movies and shows? Well, um, thank you for having me. It's great to be back. It was great to be back during the shooting of Wonder Woman. Um, I think my time in Northern Virginia um, from ages six to 16 were of course, formative years, and it's really the time that I fell in love with the movies. Um, not only did DC have a great film uh, culture and a lot of um, revival screenings and specialty screenings, especially through um, uh, the American Film Institute and, and, and things like that, I was lucky enough to be a member of the Smithsonian and the uh, Smithsonian Young Associates program offered a lot of film classes for kids. Um, so at, you know, 12 years old, I was taking the Metro in from Alexandria and by myself, which was a huge deal and, and, uh, you know, walking into the basement of the natural history museum and spending my time studying movies and then also making them with a, with a super eight camera and a, and a bunch of other kids in the class. Wow. That, I didn't know they did that. That's so cool. But yeah, it was amazing. And, you know, those kinds of opportunities, I think, are are much more common now. But at the time, they they really weren't. Um, and so the, the Smithsonian did that and, and did it. You know, uh, they had cycles of, of classes throughout the year. And uh, I there, there was a course of, I think, four years where I was taking a class in the fall or in the spring and and sometimes like a summer camp. Wow. That's that's truly incredible. Um, you mentioned Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman 1984. When you heard that it was being set and filmed here in D.C., what was your first reaction? Well, I flipped. I absolutely <laughs> flipped. I bet. Um, yeah, Patty gave me the script and said that we're going to shoot in D.C. And, you know, I, I knew Patty had also spent some time in the D.C. area in her late teens and early 20s. So we, when we first met, we talked about D.C. a lot. Um, and uh, the fact that she wanted to to, uh, to shoot in the district, um, I thought, wow, this is great. And then the next thing I thought was, uh, how are we going to do this? <laughs> DC is right. such a notoriously hard place to shoot. Um, but uh, DC and Northern Virginia, they just they really opened their doors to us, and um, we had a lot of access that I don't think a lot of other productions would have had. I was the traffic anchor here at the time when you were filming. I remember reporting the streets that you had closed down on certain yeah. days of filming. Was there one of those locations that you loved more than the others? Well, I think everything was a thrill to me. I mean, the fact that we were able to close down Pennsylvania Avenue right. uh, for blocks um, uh, was uh, unbelievable. And, and we closed a lot of Wisconsin down uh, as well um and to be able to kind of run free in those in those streets with a camera was just uh extraordinary so i everywhere we went um i i was kind of amazed um and i was amazed at the amount of people that showed up and watched and you know were cheering us on and it, it you know it was a great experience it was very ex it was a great experience for us too it was really fun here i think and now when we go to watch the movie is there anything that you think the locals here especially should be on the lookout for that we'll see that maybe people who aren't from here don't know about right well the obvious one is commander salamander um we recreated the store um yeah. that was a beloved uh almost an institution in georgetown um and we were able to recreate it on wisconsin avenue just a few blocks up from the original location so that was a thrill um i think you'd have to sort of pause in the mall sequence to look around at some of the the stores um that we painstakingly recreated that were period wow. stores you know some are chains but then some like Time Out arcade uh which was uh you know my arcade at Springfield Mall uh, when I was a kid. 
uh, we put in the movie. So there are a few moments like that that are, that are a lot of fun. That is so neat. And Matt, is it true you haven't been back since you filmed, right? No, I, I haven't been back. I've been busy. I live in Los Angeles with my family. Um, and uh, we, my family, and my daughter is five. She was two and a half, just about to turn three at the time. And we all talk about it, about what a great time we had coming back. And we want to go back to D.C. And um, we want to walk the streets. And we, we rented a nice place in Capitol Hill. And I was able to walk to a lot of our locations and they were able to come down and see the shooting. And so we just, we had a great time. And, uh, you know, I had forgotten how beautiful DC is. Mm. And um, uh, all those walks early in the morning to set really reminded me of what a great city it is. Really is. Again, you can own Wonder Woman 1984 on digital now and on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray.